25 years old, three years out of university, with 15 international film awards. So I came up with the idea of having two friends that were in a trench and they basically get a letter from the same woman um, and create the tension from there. So I wanted to create a tense environment in an already tense atmosphere, really. Through shadow to the edge of night. So they get a letter. Um, one of them says that his, uh, his wife has got a baby. I hope I get to me. Oh, you will. Just wait. And then he says that he's got a letter, then he starts getting a bit sheepish, he doesn't know what to do about it, and then his friend just snatches the letter off him. I told you, it's nothing. When have you ever kept secrets from me? He gets news that he didn't want concerning his wife, really. Why is she writing to you? It's mine, it's private, but just pass it here. So how did you find the trench? I saw an article about a man called Andy Robertshaw. He did a trench in his back garden. He dug it completely and he made it all realistic. When we got down there, it was in the middle of like a showground and there was currently a circus that were packing things away and we thought, is this really where the trench is? And they said it's in the woods. Just so eerie and really quiet and then you could see all these signs in like different languages that were showing where each part of the trench was. Front of War is Thomas Gardner's first film. Winner in India, London, Italy, Portugal, Japan. Best Director in Hungary, the Netherlands. Cheers. Awards from Sweden to the USA, the pride of Lancaster University. It's rather marvellous. It's a fantastic achievement, so I can see him going a long way. I would imagine this is a stepping stone to a, to a feature film. I would hope so. You know, the cast and crew deserve it just as much as I do, uh, but I'm completely surprised by it. And you didn't actually study filmmaking, you studied theatre. I was originally studying acting, and I kind of preferred how they were making the film rather than being in the film. I started watching videos on YouTube about how to make films, how to edit, how to do things with sound. It is a big outlay, isn't it, when you get out of university and suddenly you've got to try and find enough money to fund a camera. Yeah. I did a documentary called Route to Paradise in 2019 and I got paid um, some money to shoot that film and I shot it on a, like a little handheld camcorder and it was okay but it wasn't to the standard which a lot of films are shot so it hurt buying it at first because it was a lot of money but it was worth it in the end. Up against filmmakers with big budgets, this cost him £700. It's made him £98. But it's launched his name around the world. Fiona Marley-Patterson, ITV News, Windermere.